Hey kids, Pastor Mark here. So glad to have you joining me today and welcome back to our series, I'm in Trouble. That's right, we're continuing on with that series and we're going to be learning some important ways that we can handle the trouble that comes our way. Now I have a question for you. Have you ever had to wait on something? Wait, you know, and wait. What are some of the things you just hate to wait for? Do you have something? I know I hate waiting in lines or in traffic, you know, or maybe you don't like waiting for Christmas or your birthday to come around or your little sister to get out of the bathroom because you have to get in there. See, being patient is certainly not an easy thing to do. It is especially hard to be patient when you're going through trouble in your life. See. All you want to do is get it all over with so that you can move past that trouble right now. Well, it's especially hard to wait on God when you're in trouble also. Well, having patience in the midst of trouble is what we're going to be learning about today. And I think it's going to help you out a lot once you learn that. So let's get ready to learn all about patience by checking out this video. Welcome back, boys and girls, to another episode. I'm Bro, in. come on, can we hurry up, please? Uh, well, that wasn't very nice. Uh, sorry, I guess, or whatever. I had things to do. Well, so do we. Yeah, mister, I gotta go to the town and get me a new set of teeth. I'm gonna get these from a walrus. You gotta go to the grocery store and get some cream corn. Mm, they're so creamy. And I must work on my next experiment, turning my neighbor Jeff into a bunny rabbit. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Why would you turn your neighbor into a bunny rabbit? No, one, uh, bunnies are cute. Aww. And two, I do not like him. Mondays, right? So, yeah, can't you see we're all really busy? Can we wrap this up, please? Now, hold on a second, guys. Today's lesson is really important and you need to hear it. Like I was trying to say forever ago before I was interrupted, I'm Josh <laughs> and you're watching I'm in Trouble. And we're learning about in the Bible how God can help us through tough situations. Now, if you're anything like me or these other guys. Hi, I'm another guy. You may have trouble waiting for something or patience. Maybe you're going through a hard time and it's taking forever to get through. Like this video, come on. Easy there, Gordy, I'm gonna take your Wi-Fi away. But, well, that's not fair. Well, there's a guy in the Bible that went through something that didn't seem fair either. His name was Job. I think it's pronounced Job. No, it's Job. Job. Uh, Job. Say it with me. Job. 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 Jabroski. Jerome. Job. Job. Dude, who's the fat? Jingleheimer Schmidt, his name is my name too. <laughs> Job, his name was Job. That's what I said. Job had a very difficult life. He lost everything. The bad times in his life just didn't seem to stop. In fact, they just got worse and worse. So what does Job do? What should we do when the hard times in life never seem to end? You're gonna find out in today's lesson. So are we like done now? I hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson all about patience. It's worth the wait. Uh, dad joke. <laughs> what? I tell you joke about pizza, but it's super cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Grandpa joke! Oh. And my patience is just about wore out. Bye. Well, now I want pizza. See, being patient while you're in the middle of trouble is one of the hardest things to learn. I know I even have a hard time with it. Sometimes we want to take things into our own hands and try to fix the problem ourselves. And other times we want to get mad at God and blame him for taking too long to rescue us from the trouble that we're in. Well, you're going to find out more about how important patience is in the time of, in times of trouble. And that's going to be part of your lesson a little later on today. But right now we need to find out what you got to know. What you got to know. What you gotta know What you gotta know What you gotta know Woo! Yeah! Hey there boys and girls! My name is Wiggy Pop 
and I'm here to have a rockin' time teaching you what you gotta know. Today, we're talking about how God will help you if you are patient during trouble. So every time today you hear somebody ask you what you gotta know, you tell them this. If I'm patient while I'm stressed, then I know I'll be blessed. This is taking forever. When will this be over? I can't take all this stress and trouble anymore. Whoa, whoa, calm down. I can't calm down, I can't, ah! You've got to relax, man. We have to be patient through our trouble. We have to wait on God and believe that he will help us through our troubled times. So every time today you hear somebody ask you what you gotta know, you tell them this. If I'm patient while I'm stressed, then I know I'll be blessed. That right there is what you gotta know. My name is Wiggy Pop, and I'll see you next time. Rock on! Excellent. All right. Let's all stand up and let's repeat today's what you gotta know. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. If I'm patient while I'm stressed, then I know I'll be blessed. Good job. Well, since you're standing up, this would be a good time to do some worship, don't you think? I think so also. So let's get at it. or subscribe to our channel so that we can make more fun dance videos. Bye! I used to live like I was under attack 
Dodging arrows from my past I had no hope for tomorrow Felt so much pressure, yes I thought I would crack But now there's no looking back I'm moving forward cause I know I got my armor now, no fear, no doubt Can't shoot me down, yeah I got my armor now, no fear, no doubt Gonna shoot me down, 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 down My soul is untouchable Because you've already won me My victory is not in this flesh and bone It's in the cross and I know Nobody's taking it from me I got my armor now No fear, no doubt Can't shoot me down, yeah I got my armor now No fear, no doubt Gonna shoot me down, 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 down It's time for Rhonda to come in and share this week's Bible story. This story is about a man named Job. And man, does he have a story and does he go through some trouble. Take a listen to this. Hey, Rhonda. Hi, boys and girls. It's time for today's Bible story. And today's story is found in the book of Job in the Bible. It's the story of a man named Job who loved God with all of his heart. Now, Job was a very blessed man. He was very rich. He had many servants, many cattle, and many possessions. Well, Satan wasn't happy with the fact that Job always trusted God no matter what. And Satan asked God for permission to test Job. Satan said to God, if Job lost all that he has then he wouldn't trust you so much. Well, God knew that Job was a man of strong faith. 
So he actually allowed Satan to test Job. One afternoon, Job was sitting quietly, minding his own business, and all of a sudden, he saw one of his servants running toward him. Job stood up and listened to the message the servant brought him. The servant said, Some men came in from the desert and killed all of your servants and ran off with your cattle, and I'm the only one who survived. Well, then Job received the news that all of his children had died when a building collapsed on them. His children his cattle, and all of his possessions were taken from him all in one day. Oh, talk about a time of trouble. Well, to make matters even worse, Satan struck Job with sores all over his body. They were really painful sores, and they wouldn't go away. Well, Job's wife told him, Job, you might as well give up your faith in God. In fact, why don't you just curse God and die? Wow! Huh. Not only did Job lose everything, but his wife even turned against him. His trouble was only getting worse. And with all of those horrible things happening, you would expect Job to have a pretty horrible attitude, wouldn't you? You wouldn't really blame him if he got angry, became impatient, and maybe even turned against God. After all, this was certainly the worst day of his life. But Job did not lose patience with God. In fact, he did the opposite. Job spoke up and said, Even if God kills me, I will trust him. Wow! Job decided that his attitude was not going to depend on how things were going. He chose to have a good attitude and be patient with God. He didn't complain and he didn't lose faith. So God chose to honor Job's patience. God healed him of his sores. He gave him back twice as much wealth and possessions that he had before. Today, you are going to learn that you can be just like Job. Even when things are going badly, you can choose to have a really good attitude and be patient through all of your trouble because trouble does come along. So make sure you pay close attention when Pastor Mark is bringing you the lesson today. Thanks, Rhonda. Isn't that incredible? Even when things were going badly for Job, he chose to have a good attitude and to be patient throughout the, all of the trouble he was going through. What you gotta know? Okay, let's go check in with the actor this week and learn what our power verse is and see what kind of character he performs this week. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Lights, action, camera. Thank you, thank you, oh yes. So wonderful to have you. Please hold your applause. You may be seated. Oh, thank you. So wonderful. Now, welcome back. I am the actor and I am perhaps the greatest method actor of all time. And I'm not acting when I say that. Now, boys and girls, I do believe that you could perhaps be the greatest method actor of all. Oh, let's be serious. You'll probably never be as good as me. But anyways, I can help you out. All you need to do is learn today's power verse using method acting. Haha, -ha. today's power verse says, God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. James 1.12. What a wonderful, fantastic, 
fantastic power verse. Now, if there's one thing I've learned as the greatest method actor of all times, it's that the best way to memorize your lines, or the power verse in this instance, is to do it in character. So let's find out what today's character shall be. Let's see. Ah, yes, today's character, it says it's a goat with a goat tea. Haha, <laughs> I see what they did there. But they didn't do it because I made that up. Acting, thank you. <laughs> today's real character is an opera singer. So I need everyone to get out your opera voices and sing the power verse with me on the count of three. One, or oh, do this, two, three. God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. James Von Thrill. Acting, thank you. That was fantastic, boys and girls. But I must be going. I think I hear my bus is leaving. Okay, goodbye, boys and girls. Exit stage left. Is it this way? I don't know where left is. Thanks, actor. Well, let's all repeat this week's power verse. Are you ready? Okay, one, two, three. God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. James 1, 12. Great job, boys and girls. What you gotta know? All right, boys and girls, it's time for this week's lesson, and today we're talking about patience. See, patience is not an easy thing to have, is it? I know I struggle with having patience. I'll be honest with you. We don't like to wait on things. We want our computers to be faster so we don't have to wait. We like our cars to be faster so we don't have to wait. And we want our little brother or sister to get out of the bathroom quicker. As, because we don't like to wait around in the morning before school, do we? Now, boys and girls, I want to remind you of the story of Job that Rhonda shared with us earlier. We learned about how, well, when he was going through trouble, it taught us several important things, didn't it? And the first thing it taught us was this, bad days will happen. There's no way to avoid trouble in our lives. Things are going to go wrong. Your hair is going to be messed up in the morning. People are going to get mad at you and things are not going to always go your way. See, a lot of people think that just by becoming a Christian, you end up having the perfect life. Well, guess what? It's not that way at all. No problems come to Christians just like they do everybody else. I wish I could tell you that the moment that you asked Jesus into your heart, that everything would be perfect, but that just isn't true. No, it isn't. And Job certainly proves that even godly people have trouble every once in a while. See, Jesus said in John 16, 33, in this world, you will have trouble. Hmm, see, even Jesus had bad days. Yeah, he did. There were days that people treated him unfairly. There were days when his own disciples disobeyed him and turned their backs on him. And ultimately, he was beaten and nailed to a cross even though he was innocent and didn't deserve it. Talk about a bad day. Wow. But something that we all need to realize is this. Your attitude is your choice. Hmm, wow. Many people try to blame their bad attitude on others. They say, well, so-and-so made me act this way. Or they might say, well, if such and such didn't happen to me, I would have a better attitude today. Well, basically, they're saying they have no control over their attitude and everything is determined by someone else. That's not right. 
I can tell you that right now. See, the truth is, our attitude is our choice. It is how we, how we act is our choice. Nobody can choose your attitude for you. Imagine this, a little boy is sitting down in church when his mom tells him to stand up. And he replies that, no, I'd rather sit down. Well, she tells him, you need to stand up and I want you to stand up now. And finally, he stands up and he tells her, I may be standing up on the outside, but I'm sitting down in the inside. You see, his mom could make him obey by having him stand up, but she could not choose his attitude for him, could she? He still had a bad attitude. See, on the inside, he still was saying, I'm sitting down. <laughs> The thing is, your attitude is your choice. And you may not get to choose whether or not you have trouble in your life, but you get to choose whether or not you face that trouble with patience and a good attitude. So, if you want to make the right choice every single day and to have the right attitude, you must do this. Patiently wait for God to act. Hmm. Did Job get impatient and angry with God when he was going through his terrible troubles? No, he didn't, did he? No, he did not let his wife determine his attitude when he was going through that trouble. No, he didn't allow that to happen either. Instead, Job waited patiently on God. He knew God was still on his side. He knew that God had not left him alone in his trouble. He waited patiently, keeping the right attitude the whole time. And what did God do for him? God came through. That's what he did. See, God blessed him for his patience. And he was rewarded with more than he even had before the trouble began. Isn't that Amazing. It's incredible how God works. You see, it's not easy to have the right attitude when things don't go your way. But if you are going to do what God wants you to do, you have to make the right choice and choose to have a godly attitude and be patient and wait on God to do what only he can do. Is that easy to do? Hmm, I'll be honest with you, no, it's not. It's not easy to do. We need God's help to do it. With his help, you can make the right choice and face your trouble with patience. Well, we're gonna pray right now, boys and girls. So I want you just to bow your head and we're gonna ask God to help us to be patient. Heavenly Father, we repent right now for ever being impatient and having a bad attitude at times in trouble. And Father, I pray right now to you that you will help us to choose to be patient and to wait on you and your blessings. And Father, to I pray that you will that we'll just be patient and ask for your help when the times of trouble come. Help us to have a good attitude each and every day. And Father, I pray this over each and every one of these kids that are watching right now. And we ask this in your name. And everyone said, Amen. What you gotta know? That's all the time we have for this week. And as you get ready for your spring break next week from school, ooh, 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 remember to be like Job and learn to have patience in trouble and therefore be rewarded by God. I'll see you soon. Stay safe. Bless you.